it was like something like a scene out of like a movie, like it wasn't real. Because you couldn't imagine something like this could actually happen here. For September 11th, I should have been working as a cop. I would have been in, uh, in downtown Manhattan. Uh, but prior week, Friday, I had missed my annual training and my National Guard unit asked me if I'd like to do recruiting and to make up my annual training and I, I agreed to it. I was actually having breakfast in my armory and uh, we saw, you know, on the news like everyone else did, saw the planes hit. You know, it was a big concern because I know my, my family, the other cops were going to be down there and uh, more than that, my partner. Uh, worked in Manhattan and he was going to be there. His command had called me and said uh, Mark's missing and they were sending state troopers to go notify his family and uh, they said you you know you have to do it. Um, it was probably the, the hardest thing I've, I've done in my life. Uh, I didn't I didn't want to do it but I, I knew it had to be me. We did his wake on the 23rd and we buried him on Christmas Eve. Uh, that morning I got off around 8 o'clock and I was on the Brooklyn Queens Expressway on the Kosciuszko Bridge and I just happened to look off about 2 o'clock and it looked like something exploded from the Trade Center. And when I had got to my first stop there in Brooklyn, they said that uh, a plane had, to hit, plane hit the Trade Center. And then over the radio, they had recalled everybody in. So everybody went back to their respective firehouses. By the time we got down there, you know, we were just basically searching for any survivors. You know, it was a very family-oriented job. So you had a lot of families looking, uncles looking for their nephews, fathers looking for their sons, sons looking for their fathers, brothers looking for their brothers. And it was very difficult to deal with that. I retired last uh, September. Um, I took a little break. You know, and this popped up, and I seemed to see something, you know, I'd like to do. You know, it's, it's, kind of, it's, it's very beautiful here. It's peaceful, it's serene, it's respectful. The people I work with are really great. You know, you don't find that everywhere, you know, and it's, it's just a good feel. Like, I get along well with the others here. I really enjoy working here. You know, I'm, I'm very proud to be here. Yeah, it's true. Like, you see, like, the families. Like, I worked, I, right now I'm in internments and I worked at committal. And let's face it, it's the last stop on the L line. You know, and you try to do something nice for the families, make everything nice, set up the chairs. And they really do appreciate it. Like, the cemetery representatives, how they are with the families, it's, you know, it's awesome. And you see like that, you, that you give them that peace at the end, Absolutely. you know, and I think that's important, yeah. you know, and I, that's what I think I'm most proud of that here. The part of the building where the G1 was, was at was the part of the building that had just been renovated. And the G1 was in the process of moving into that section. Everybody wasn't in their offices yet, probably about 50%. But it was the new construction had been fortified, blast-proof windows, uh, extra you know, uh, concrete, extra um, devices in the concrete and everything to protect the people in there. Um, and that's, that's where the airplane hit. The airplane hit where the uh, the extra stuff was. The airplane went right through the meeting um, that I was in. Um, of course, I wasn't there. I was uh, down the hall making copies. Um, uh, everybody in that room died. Um, so I live about a mile and a half from the National Cemetery. Um, I've spoken there a couple times at uh, Memorial Day events and veterans events. It's, it, it's so important because the National Cemetery Administration gives the, uh, the veterans that dignity, that, that opportunity to lie with their comrades when, when they finally pass. They're always going to get that headstone. And that's just so important to veterans and family members on the scene as we're saying there near Shanksville, a small town in Somerset County about 80 miles south of Pittsburgh. This the site of one of the two United Airlines aircraft. This a Boeing 757 left Newark, New Jersey this morning on its way to San Francisco. Those poor people that were on the plane that 
knew what was eventually going to happen and nothing could be done about it. You know, although they, they tried valiantly, the same thing at the Pentagon. As terrible a situation as the towers in New York, you know, I think we have a habit of forgetting about, you know, the one in Pennsylvania and the one in the Pentagon.